Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So, if you're trying to install Windows 11 on your PC, but you're getting a pop up that uh, your PC is not allowed to install it, some PCs already have the update through the normal Windows update, but if your PC doesn't uh, meet the requirements, then you will not get that update. And if you come to this website and you try to check if your PC is compatible or not, you download this uh, PC, this PC Health app and you install it and it will tell you if your PC can have Windows 11 or not. And as you see, I have already Windows 11 on my PC. Sure, the taskbar is here on the left side, but I mean, you can change it from the middle to the left side. Where is it here left? Normally, Windows 11 is advertised as uh, being here on the middle. I always got used to, to it having on the left side, so I kept it on the left side. So when I open here the PC Health Check app, I have here the top Check Now button, then it will tell me that my PC doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11, uh, which, uh, yeah, I already have Windows 11. This problem specifically, it's for this problem right here, TPM 2.0. It says that it's not detected well because it's disabled into my BIOS. You see TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. On my PC it's now disabled. I'm going to show you on my BIOS how to enable it and then we will come back here to this app. So let's uh, restart the PC into the BIOS and show you the settings right there. So right now I'm onto my BIOS and we need to go here into the advanced mode. Your BIOS might look a little bit different, but well, this option should be on everyone if your CPU supports it, of course. So let's go into advanced mode. Here again, we need to go in advanced tab and here we need to search for PCH FW configuration, which, which FW is firmware. We go here and then we have here Intel platform trust technology, which is disabled. You need to enable this option on and you see right here intel ptt is a hardware tpm 2.0 implementation blah 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 so windows 11 needs tpm 2.0 once enabled it then we can uh, go to exit save changes and restart okay so the pc restarted let's go and search uh, pc health app right there and see what it will say right now check now and yeah this pc meets uh windows 11 requirements this fix is only for this tpm 2.0 if, if your bios has it disabled then uh by this way you can enable it and have windows 11 and now once this app says that your uh, pc meets windows 11 requirements then you might receive the update through windows update and if you still don't want to wait for the update itself, then one thing you can do is go into the internet and search for Windows 11 installation assistant. And by this way, you don't need to wait for the update itself. Uh, yeah, this is in German right now. Press download. It is downloading now. And once you open it, then it will take you through the steps to installing Windows 11 and you don't really need to wait for the Windows update through the official uh, update. This will not delete anything. You, you saw right now the app didn't even want to open because, well, I have Windows 11 already. But by doing it through this way, then uh, you will still manage to keep all your information. Nothing is going to be deleted and this is still all official. Let's go into system about here and you see here windows 11 pro installed version 29th of october and today is 31 so i installed it two days ago and once again this is all official so don't really be worried but anyway this was the video guys i hope it was helpful for you till the next one